Hello all my Kenvians, Papa Ken here, bringing you a brand new episode of Papa Ken Plays Hyrule Warriors. This episode is called Sealed Ambition, or this level rather, and uh, you might notice I already beat it. And uh, can't blame it on the level, uh, or basically I can't blame it on the computer freezing or anything like that this time. No, in fact, I played through the entire level thinking that I had set the recorder to play. And I had recorded the audio, but not the actual gameplay. <laughs> so, yeah, my bad. Volga. But despite the victory, Girahim managed to slip away in the chaos. Girahim is probably one of the weirdest enemies that I've encountered in any of the Zelda games, to be quite honest. But one thing I can say is that one good part about me already playing this level... His trap was sprung! But the good part about me already playing this level is the fact that the first time I played through, I actually did really bad. <laughs> like, I didn't lose, but I made so many bad mistakes. I made... It just... It wasn't as entertaining as I wanted it to be. And I feel like this time around, for the most part, I did a much better job. And... Uh, <laughs> You might see me kind of spam the uh, spin attack here a little bit too much because, to be quite honest, it's by far the best way to capture um, keeps in this game when you're playing as Link. Not that little dash spin attack, but just the hold down the button and spin attack, yeah. But for the most part, I do manage to keep it pretty lively and fast moving. <laughs> the temple is all yours, just leave the surrounding keeps to us. Yeah, about that. <laughs> oh, Girahim. Oh, yeah, that's right. At the end of the first Link solo level, where you get Fi, or Fi, whichever you prefer, um, you actually... It ends with Girahim sudden ta suddenly taking control of one of the soldiers, or I guess it's supposed to be a group of the soldiers. It's one of those that definitely would have been more effective had it been played through um, a, a CG screen, or not CG screen, but uh, basically if they had acted it out, as opposed to just, Hurt, what is your bidding, Girahim? <laughs> It just, I don't know, it just always seemed such a strange choice on their part. But yeah, this is a level that, it, it gets a bit confusing, because you're fighting characters that look exactly like Hyrulean soldiers, or is it called here, traitorous soldiers. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's just, it's so strange to be fighting Hyrulean soldiers outside of the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past game. Or, well, I guess also Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. But yeah, to the best of my knowledge, this and, well, the A Link 2 games are the only ones where you actually fight, like, Hyrulean guards. <laughs> that actually just dawned on me as I was, as I'm making this commentary. And, oh, I don't... Yeah, it's not uh, this video, thankfully, but in the next video that will be coming up in this series, you'll probably notice that... Yay, I got the weapon that I already picked up last time. <laughs> but you'll notice that the... It, I don't seem to be doing very well against them, like it takes a long time to take down any enemies. And it was baffling me why. And I won't say why, but I definitely facepalmed when I figured it out <laughs> near the end of the video. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, it, it gave me a good laugh. But let's see here, I think... I might fast forward until we get to the point 
where I find the turncoat leader. So, yeah, be right back. I goofed off a lot playing this level. I apparently spent far too much time running around just trying to kill things and not really accomplishing anything. But by the time I'm done, that will be over. And so it became that almost the complete last keep that I checked ended up being where the turncoat leader was. <laughs> and I love how, honestly, I apparently quite often get ahead of the text. Because, <laughs> like, I had just killed him. And that's when the turncoat leader says, I think we've been found out. Some of the noises they make are just so annoying. Yay! No more mutiny! Be ah, here we go. Another kind of creepy little scene with Girahim. I also feel annoyed. But probably for different reasons. Oh my goodness, it's all pixelated. Is it the twilight? Nope, it's not the twilight. It's this gigantic spiky worm thing. It's got gigantic toes. <laughs> Alright, so I will say this. I have seen the beginnings of some Let's Plays of uh, Skyward Sword. I haven't watched all the way to the end, though, so I'm not... I'm not overly familiar with Girahim's personality or if they captured it well in this game. I mean, overall, he he's definitely a foreboding presence and seems like he would be, you know, a pretty interesting enemy to go up against. However, uh, what did I get here? Oh, a piece of heart. Yay! Link is happy, I'm happy, we're all happy. Spent way too long before I pressed that button. Oh. Uh, but at the same time, the same goes for uh, the monster the imprisoned. Which is uh, the only actual exposure I have to the creature is this game. And I, I mean, honestly, I don't know if the way you take it down is even remotely the same in this game. Like, if the toes are the weak point, and then you attack it later. <laughs> I am interested to know if the design is similar, though. Because it's... It's... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a very dark and foreboding presence, to be sure. But it would definitely help if I... I don't know. I had an idea of what it actually looks like in the game it's from. And this is one of the weird sound effects, too. Like, just listen. Like, that sound effect, I guess, is supposed to be the Imprisoned charging up its attack, but it sounds like a toy. It doesn't sound like anything actually powering up. It sounds like a device, if that, if that makes sense. <laughs> I also like that they included the... Uh, uh, see if I can whistle without it sounding horrible on the microphone. 
like that sound effect as it fell. <laughs> uh, giving the imprisoned a few good chops. I think maybe I... Oh, I do manage to... Boom. I did manage to get the weak point down all the way. Destroy them to incapacitate it. I shall, Fee. I shall. I've pretty much given up on trying to remember to call her Fi, because it's it's always been Fee to me. Ooh, and if you're playing this game, a uh, little bit of advice. If you go up against the Imprisoned, be sure to have a special attack saved up so that you can attack its toes, because especially when its health gets low, there's an area of effect that it starts attacking that is just gigantic. And it will very easily knock you out, or very easily cause you a lot of damage. So if you have a special attack saved up, make sure you get its toes within the range of your special attack, and then unleash it. At the very least, you'll be able to knock out most of the toes, and then the rest will be easy enough to just pick up and sort of take out as you uh, at your leisure. Unfortunately, at this point, I don't have a lot of, um, or I only have the one special attack meter, so I couldn't do it again. But, again, since I've played against the enemy enough, I knew to, I knew what to watch out for as far as, uh, the area of attack. And, oh, oh, it's not down. I thought that was the finishing shot. And uh, that's the... That's what happens when you take a weaker sword into levels, but, you know. That's just the way it is. But I do have the special attacks saved up. So I'm I'm almost completely sure I take it out this time. Oh, and make sure you get out of the way, because if it falls on you, it'll cause damage. Not a lot, but it will cause damage all the same. Improve morale for the Herulean forces! Hooray! And now comes the point where you go up to take out Girahim. And I actually think I'll fast forward to that point because I'm... Ha! Ah, this will not stand! <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, fast forward till we're up against Girahim because up until that point I'm pretty sure I just run around trying to uh, take out different keeps. So, yeah, see you in a minute. I spend far too long running around in these levels to try and defeat all of the monsters I can. It makes for a good time unleashing some stress, but it doesn't exactly make for a good video. Oh, just real quick, those vines over there, I, uh, that's where you get the gold Skulltula, if one appears elsewhere, or, or basically if it pops up in the level, that the gold Skulltula appeared. So it's hidden behind those vines. So, yeah, sudden interruption, and back to our fast forwarding. Alright, so we're inside the temple itself now, and I think this is a safe point to finally pick the commentary back up. <laughs> uh, my apologies for the huge gaps there. I forgot I spent so much time just kind of goofing off in the level. But the main purpose behind doing that was I wanted to try and get as many KOs as possible, because I wanted to unlock the um, special skill in the sword that had it required like 1700 KOs in order to unlock. But yeah, now we're on our way to finally defeat Girahim. After I take out this outpost, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I thought that was supposed to be the uh, bow and arrow again. Yeah, that's just one sign of how weak the sword I'm using is. Um, 
bomb this rock, see what's inside. Oh, rupees, I think. Either that or it's a weapon. Nope, oh, rupees. Which you can never get enough of. It seems like you have a lot, but then when you try to level people up to the same level as uh, the highest character, ho oh, ho, it becomes expensive. And almost done with this little keep. There we go. Now to take out the big guy. I honestly don't know why I was running into him for so long. <laughs> and now finally, on our way to a gatekeeper. Oh my god, do I go out here too? I think I just hit the microphone. But seriously, I spend time out here. <laughs> I was just, I don't know what my deal was with this level, everyone. I was just kind of being a dork. So, <laughs> fast forwarding again. Oh, wait. I must get my revenge. Yay. Now do I go back inside? Please. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated at myself here. Of course, I guess I, while I was playing it, I guess I had more um, just playing in mind than actually, uh, you know, making sure it was entertaining. Ah, uh, the face-off against Girahim. That tongue is so weird. I don't know if he's supposed to be like a snake or what, but it's like the tongue thing is just so unnerving to me for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah, superpower time! Let's do it, y'all! Oh snap! You ain't no. You ain't no match for my powerful spin attack when I'm when I'm in focus mode. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. I apologize, everyone. Oh, Girahim, weak point. Oh, it is. It is your weak point. And now you're going down, sucker. Ah, so close. I think I finished him off with a special attack, actually. <laughs> oh, but not before I take out the Moblins. Oh, and actually I took them all out at the same time, which was unexpected, both when I played it and now as I'm recording. And that was really cool. That, that, was, that was just a friggin' badass display of attacking and knocking him into the portal. And I'm assuming... Oh, oh yeah, that's like the Skyward Strike from Skyward Sword, I suppose. So yeah, there you go, everybody. That was Sealed Ambition. And I hope you enjoyed this probably rather short, relatively speaking, episode of Papa Ken Plays Hyrule Warriors. Um, again, I didn't expect there to be that much fast-forwarding or that much just, like, dead time of me running around. But as you can see, I did pick up a lot of materials, and those go toward uh, leveling up the characters quite nicely, I can assure you. But, uh, yeah, from here, we are going to be going into the uh, final two levels of the split-off, and I'm trying to remember, I think we tackle the Palace of Twilight next, or maybe it's Lake Hylia. Um, oh yeah, I guess we did this, I, I, or we, I decided on the Palace of Twilight, so... I'll see you all next time for Papa Ken Plays Hyrule Warriors for the Palace of Twilight. And until then, everyone, I'm Papa Ken. Later days.